Many different components go into the makings of a successful little 500 race, and they all start right here. Behind me, you will see the Wilcox House, where race director Andrea Balzano spends her day-to-day -day organizing sponsors, creating events, and working with students to ensure smooth sailing on race day. Balzano got her start as a college student, riding on an all-rookie team, as well as being president of Riders Council her senior year. Ever since then, Balzano knew that she wanted to come back and be Little Five race director. The Little 500 had such a huge impact on my college experience, and I feel very, very strongly that it helped me develop as a leader and as a person, and it made me just, it changed me in such a huge way. I knew that I wanted to be here directing um, just because I love the race so, so, so much. Since the winners of the women's race will not be returning this year, Balzano anticipates a very competitive women's race. She has also noticed about 15 men's teams competitively vying for first place and says it will be interesting to see who comes out victorious. But Balzano states there's more to race day than just standings and trophies, that it's what these teams leave the race and the track with that is so much more important. When I think Little 500, I think community. The friends that you make, the memories that you make with those friends really do last a lifetime and I think that that can sound maybe a little cliche but it is so, so, so true. When I think about, you know, if I have a really, really hard day or a hard week or something has happened in my life and I need a support system or a shoulder to lean on, I'm going to call one of my little 500 teammates. Those are the people that have been my best friends for years and years and years and I think a lot of alumni could echo that. For IU Sports Media, I'm Courtney Robb.